Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Carried Away. And uh, what would you know, there's only three levels to go. One of those levels is locked, and the other two are good to play. One's a drag lift. You know I like my drag lift levels. Feels like it's been a while. We've got a ski jump and a gondola, so a nice little bit of variety to do. But I'm hoping to finish it all in this episode. And last episode, we had some really tricky levels that were messing me up here. Now, I've got to say... This looks kind of easy until you get to that snow cannon, right? I can't help but feel we might be able to get away with using these things. Is there an obstacle there? There is. You've got to build a ramp over the top of it, right? So here we need to just go like that and pretty much you could probably get away with that. Let's make it a little bit smoother for the rider, right? There we go. Add some supports or just one and do a triangle. Pretty cool. Um, so then going upwards, it looks like a bunch of obstacles start about here, actually. So we'll need to build uh, this off of the ground. You see the supports are directly behind it. And here's where I reckon things are going to get a bit manic, because there is a snow cannon there. And that is going to cause us a world of problems, isn't it? Let's add in our supports. You can reach that one here. And this is going to be so easy. Um, you can't reach that, though, so... Nope. Anyway, it's going to be easy because look how close... Oh, wait a minute. So we can't just put... Oh, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so we need to create some sort of like bridge to go... A uh, bridge? An arc that goes above. Like we've been doing a lot recently. If you saw the last episode, we did quite a bit of this. Oops. Okay, that does not help. Right, the bridge seems to be sturdy enough to stand up. Oh, it's a tree that's fallen over. Huh. That's cool. Uh, then we're going to need another one of these, just up here. One of those on them. And the same thing right here as well. Now, I'm assuming they're going to be alright. We're going to put the cable going all the way across here. Okay, we can see straight away there's a little bit of a problem with some of this. Right, so I'm going to lower you. We want it all lower to the ground, I think. I'm going to push you forward a bit. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's going to work. The problem here is it's too high. So actually, it needs to go under the first one, I think. Let's bring it back. Put it under. Put them over. All right, this one's too high. I'm going to put it about there. I'm going to bring this one all the way down. A little bit of a time, though, so it brings the uh, cable with it. And then I'm going to nudge it over to there. Ah! Damn it. Uh, well, I guess i got to bring the whole thing back, don't I? So it actually goes under the first two and then over the next two. Let's hit play and... Oh, wow. Okay, that snow cannon is going to cause problems. Major problems. Also, the slack means that this happens, which isn't actually a problem at the moment. So let's watch the course of the first rider. Oh, this is going to be bonkers. It's going to be absolutely bonkers. I, I don't even know what to suggest. Uh, yeah, that's always going to end badly. So we've got to get out of range of the snow cannon. It looks like the snow cannon's got like a lot of range to it. So I think the way that we'll test that is by removing these and creating ones that go really high and then just see how much slack there is. So we'll attach those. Okay, let's actually get you connected, and then, right, it's still affecting them at that height. Hopefully, though, if a rider's on it, it's not going to be that crazy. Yeah, it doesn't look as crazy as before. Maybe we need to go even higher than that. Okay, if you're thinking that looks mental, that's because it is. It's mental. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, do you know what, actually? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart this. I reckon, I reckon, let's, no, 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 let's go that way around. <laughs> I reckon. That's what I reckon. I reckon that right there. I don't need to explain it with words. Leave me alone. Okay. So, we're going to go over our first little obstacle. The rock. The rock is in the way. Look, it's Dwayne Johnson. Oh, that was a terrible joke, I know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> then we're going to go up here. And this structure actually looks super sturdy. Do you know what? I've been playing with this off. Now we can kind of see what's going on. And here's the moment of truth. The snow cat. Oh my goodness me, you've done a flip. Oh, and you're both doing flips. You've landed on your skis. <laughs> and now it's all fallen down. So you're telling me we've got to go even higher than that. Well, I'm ready to give this a try, peeps. I'm ready to give it a try. 
If you're looking at that and you're thinking, Asuma, you silly. Well, you're right, but I realised something. This ends with a downslope, which usually ends really bad for drag lifts. Wow, I kind of expected that to just work, but it looks like a lot of a lot of the stress just got diverted to a couple of points there. Uh, this one here is obviously a bit of a weak point. We should strengthen that up and maybe just continue making this grid larger and larger. It is ridiculous, I know, but that's kind of the point. I don't really care to do it properly or structured. It's just like, hey, let's get this job done. And so this is what I've basically been doing, just going around trying to make as many connections as I can. Okay, so what about now? That's a little bit better, isn't it? That's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Hi, how you doing, Mr. Rider? <laughs> Let's speed you up and get you on the ramp. Okay, so here we go. It's very steep. Ooh, that's slightly alarming. Oh, and it all broke. <laughs> now, where did it break? It should tell us if we turn on the stress, which I can't see right now. Why can't I see the stress? Do we not see it on these types? Let's speed it up and try and spot where it goes wrong. Okay, so the rider's coming onto the ramp. Slow it down. Oh, it was this thing. Okay, it was the thing behind it that actually... Yeah, I see now. I see now. So let's give you one of the classic little things like that to help strengthen it. And let's try again. Speed it up. Here comes the rider. It's making a mess to my frames, man. Oh, uh, this is ridiculous. Why has there got to be a snow cannon there? This seems so over the top. I'm not sure if there's something else I should be doing here that's more obvious. Let's try and add a few more supports somewhere around here. It could just be that there's like a much more easier, obvious way of doing this that I can't seem to see for some reason. But uh, what is that connection there? Why is there a thing like that there? Goodness me. Now here's the bit that I thought would mess us up. But actually, it works just fine in this scenario. So we found a weak spot over here. What happened there? Yeah, look at that. That can't be right. Let's make sure that thing's properly supported. And now it's probably going to work. Let's speed it up. Let's watch it together, okay? Because I think this is it. We've actually got it now. i got to say, though, not a fan of this level at all. Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Building an absolute monstrosity? That is the word for this, the monstrosity. And off you go. Having the time of your life. Actually, I want to see where you went. <laughs> right, here comes the second one. Oh, look. The next ones are coming down, still holding on to the thing. That's kind of crazy and unexpected and we actually did that under budget so we got all the medals <laughs> look at it it's it's a it's a heaving mess well the next level we've actually played before apparently i didn't complete this which i remember spending a lot of time on this level right you recognize it the three star jump i figured we're probably never going to figure out how to get all three of those without building a loop the loop what did i just build down there we don't need that uh, but apparently I never actually completed this, so the riders never actually landed and went... What? Oh, now I remember. You needed all three stars to actually complete the level. I really feel like that was one that's just going to take me way too much time. So much time it's probably not going to be that fun for me. So we're going to do Valley Shuttle next. And this is basically the last level then, <laughs> uh, if we're not doing the other one. So let's check out where this gondola's got to look, go. We've got to take a lot of riders. They've got to go over this bit. I like to drag the line just to make it a little bit more visual. We've got to go over some trees. So we've got to go pretty high, pretty quick up to here. And then we've got to drop down into this thing. Ah, now if you want to get the star, that's where the challenge is, right? That's why there's all these, these bits here. So just looking at the way things are going... Uh, we're going to start off with something like this. I reckon that should give us enough height. So I don't need anything crazy. And then we're going to go to about that height. And I think we're only going to need to make use of... Uh... Oh, actually that might not really be that sturdy of a support. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Something like that. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's not going to work out very well. But it'll take us high enough for now. And then if we want to get the blue star, we need to come down to somewhere around here. Yeah, I can see it starts to get a bit tricky around here, doesn't it? So we're going to create the uh, the classic shape like this, which 
which I've been quite reliant on. Do you know what I should be using? I should be using the grid for this bit. Let's, let's grid align it. That makes it a little bit more reliable. Copy it a couple of times. Okay, and then it's going to be that bit on the corner that's going to need the support. Now it can come straight down, which is kind of mental. <laughs> And it needs to go out somewhere down here as well. So we're going to need a connection between these two that's going to have a wheel on it. This is where we might do things a little unorthodox by doing that. Um, do we? I think I think we do it more like this. We, we rely on there being a little bit of slack. Actually, if we just pull that down. And then the next one's going to be around here. Now here's the thing. We ain't really got much support. Oh, maybe we'll try that. Maybe there'll be enough slack to get that bit. Now, I reckon this has got a lot of uh, strain on it, so we're going to add an extra bit of that. Then when it comes to this thing, I reckon it's going to buckle. <laughs> I really do. I reckon the first one will be all right, but the other ones are not so sure. And so, I guess we're doing this in one take, right? Okay, so that one survived. What did I say? The th these two would be a problem. The site got chucked up in the air. That was kind of crazy. So that bit there gave way. That doesn't surprise me. This here, though, is awful. Let's let's grid align it. I reckon, actually, we might be better off doing something like that. Okay, now that goes through the tree. Let's bring you back. I think we're going to avoid the trees there. Unless there's a lot of slack, then we should be all right. Um, so this thing here, I'm actually going to delete this portion of it. Okay, and then we're just going to make this stronger, I guess. That's the way... Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more difficult with a grid off to do little finicky things like that. Let's see what happens now. Oh, we should totally turn the stress on. Right, so the first two have broken. Same dealio again. Add the, uh, the, the super joint or whatever you want to call it. Like a so. Okay, it's actually holding out. I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, kind of waiting for something to break. But the fact that it holds out for a little bit longer kind of lets you know that you're on the right path. So let's go and add in another one here. And then I think we'll reinforce these like that. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference, but I hope it does. <laughs> you can always hope. All right, and now the stress is all in that area. Yeah, and then it breaks. I, I think what we need is just something here stronger. All right, so I've redone the grid with extra supports going to the middle. So there's actually ones going from corner to corner behind it. And then I've sort of created that arc like so. I'm hoping... Oh, goodness me. Straight away it goes. Maybe there's somewhere else here we should be adding another one of those wheels. Uh, this may look a bit mad, but what if we also had one there? I think that's going to go too close to the wall for the gondola uh, cart or whatever you want to call that thing. Right, but that might help. No, it kind of looks like it made it worse. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Okay, this time it's working. Something has... Uh, as soon as I start talking... <laughs> as soon as I start talking, it all goes wrong. And now the tower's fallen over on that side. So this thing... Let's nudge it and inch it across this way a little bit. Hope that holds out. Uh, still got problems down here. What I did this time, though, is connect it to that middle. So... We're also going to add that on either side. And I'm hoping that'll be it. Please be it. Let's also reinforce like so. Just, it's an absolute mess of beams. Let's hope it makes a difference. Alright, so we just barely missed that now. <sighs> These gondolas go so fast. That's what's crazy. Look at how much like... Oh, there you go. It's hit it now. Well, the rest of it is still holding up. Okay, so what happens here? They actually make it down by looks here. I would not want to ride on this gondola. It looks horrible. And it kind of just went over the blue bit there. Oh, so we'd get the blue star. That's kind of cool. All right, then. So the final thing for us to do is tweak this again. And I think hopefully that'll be enough. Come on now. <laughs> Let's watch the beginning. I heard something break. Okay, so you've made it through. The next one's just about made it through. Goodness me. I say that too much when I play this, don't I? Right, now the one in the middle is breaking. Great. You tweak something over here and it affects everything over there. It's just typical. Typical whatever. <laughs> uh, let's actually yeah, do that. That looks a little bit awkward, doesn't it? And, and some of that as well. We're going crazy today. We're still under budget. Okay, that should be nice and supported. So we try again. 
Again and again and again we try. Something over there just broke again. Now that looks good. So nothing's hit the first bit. Oh, you've broken again. You've broken again. I feel like we need to add one of these. And then something else somewhere else will break after we've added this. Of course it will. All the riders are on board. The last ones are in this bit here. Oh, we hit that tree. I've not really noticed that until. And now this thing over here breaks. Why? We get it working. We go and tweak something else. The bit behind it stops working. It never ends. We've seen enough of this to know. The sign's always going to break. It was that bit there. We've got the blue star, by the way. The riders are going off the cliff into the void. <laughs> and it works. Where's my prize? What's going on? Why haven't I won yet? <laughs> the the finish line is there. All of the riders went through it. Did I miss something? Is there another blue star? Why won't you let me win, game? Why won't you let me win? Hey, that time it actually worked. I don't know why I didn't the first time, but we're good now. And uh, peeps, that's actually going to be the last episode of this series. We've done technically all of the levels except for the free star jump, which I just think is one of those super crazy going to take you a lot of time levels. And so for now, I might come back with another episode of Sandbox, but most likely what I'll do at some point is stream a few streams of this and go do all the levels and get all the medals, like going back to the beginning and try and complete it 100%. So, I want to say thank you for all the support on this series. It's been absolutely tremendous. Always fun to pick up and play a game like this. And I'll be on the lookout for more games in the future. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the series for now. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.